Welcome to the September 2011 Tap Time TLC training video. I'm Janice Gibson, your host for these monthly training classes about Energy Meridian Tapping. This month, we will be delving into solving emotionally magnetized traumas with EMT. Initially, this title may sound a little bit odd, but there is a method to my madness, and before long, all of this will be crystal clear. We have a lot of ground to cover in a short period of time, so let's get started. Let's begin with definitions of some of the terms I'll be referencing. Emotionally is defined as of or relating to emotion, dominated or provoked by emotion, and lastly, markedly agitated due to an emotion. Magnetize is defined as a means to create a center of attention, catch the attention of, or to exert a pull on. Of these three definitions just presented, this one is the most important with regard to this training. Why? Because the intent of this training is to help your children by having them ask themselves, is my behavior attracting or repelling the things that I really want? Tantrum is defined as an emotional outburst, fit of temper, or just a plain fit, and any form of acting out, whether it's on the pout, retreat, withdrawal end of the tantrum spectrum, or the full-blown tantrum end of the spectrum, or anywhere, somewhere in between. I'm certain that if you've been a parent of at least one toddler, you have a pretty clear idea of what a tantrum looks and sounds like. And many people who may or may not be parents have probably witnessed at least once the hard to miss spectacle that a tantrum causes. As we move through the training, you'll understand more fully why I went to this length to explain all of the definitions we just covered. We're going to be examining tantrums from two additional perspectives over and above the standard understanding that tantrums happen when children have unresolved emotions that in the moment are running the show and are causing a scene. We will also be examining tantrums from the aspect of sometimes tantrums are thrown as a means of getting attention. And this diagram clearly shows that sometimes attention is garnered through positive actions and behaviors, and sometimes the attention we receive shows up on the opposite negative end of the scale. This isn't a new insight by any means, but it is important to this discussion. We will step a little bit outside of the box when we correlate the negative positive aspects of tantrums to magnets. Yep, we're going to have a mini science lesson that's designed to help your children understand their emotions in a whole new way. We're going to use magnets to help your kids understand that sometimes behavior repels or pushes away the things that we really want. And this lesson is meant to teach your children that EMT also known as tapping, will assist them in attracting or bringing to them, just like a magnet, the things they really want, while simultaneously dissolving all of the painful emotions that they do not want. So, this month's training tools are magnets and our trusted permanent tool that's always right at the end of our fingertips. EMT, which is the acronym for Energy Meridian Tapping, and is sometimes just called tapping. It doesn't matter what you call it, quite frankly. What matters is that you teach your kids to remember to use it. The diagram on the screen is of Ima Tapper, my EMT demo model. Ima is demoing the primary tapping positions on the body that you tap upon when conducting EMT sessions. Each of these tapping points are situated upon one of the primary energy meridians that are located within our body's energy system. 
When we tap upon these magic spots, that's what the kids call them, with our fingertips, while thinking about something that is bothering us, or while describing discomfort we are feeling or experiencing, we balance the frenetic energy running through our energy system. Once the energy is balanced, which can happen very rapidly, the mental, emotional, and or physical discomfort that we're experiencing in the moment subsides and more often than not disappears completely. Now we're going to shift gears for a moment and talk about the five basic human needs. There are actually more than five, but for this discussion and ease of learning for children, we will just be addressing love, acceptance, security, community, and expression. Every human being on the planet needs love. Babies that do not receive enough love will fail to thrive. Love is the primary need of everyone. Everyone also wants and needs to be accepted for who we are as individuals. It's no surprise that most people do not want to be rejected or looked upon as an outsider. We all need to feel safe and secure. And this especially holds true for children because they have not yet developed the skills nor have the means to provide security for themselves. People have a strong desire also to be a part of a community. Here are two great examples that back up this simple truth. Look how social media sites like Facebook and Twitter that have developed huge outline communities have exploded onto the scene over the past three years. This is an excellent positive example about a human's needs to belong to a community. On the negative end of the spectrum, we have the example of gangs. A human being's desire to belong is so strong that they will resort to becoming a member of a gang in order to belong to a community. Think about that for a moment. People need to be a part of a community, any community. And it's so strong that our youth will do whatever it takes, including joining a gang, to belong somewhere. And the last basic need we will be covering is expression. Everyone wants and needs to be able to express their thoughts, feelings, and opinions. Kids, too. Not being able to express one's feelings, thoughts, and opinions is a huge source of frustration and anger, no matter what age you happen to be. And that holds true for all of the other basic human needs we just discussed. Every single one of them. The need to be loved, for security, to be accepted, to belong to a community, and the ability to express ourselves have been known to contribute to emotional stress, emotional imbalance, and unhappiness. The impact of those needs not being met can be mild to severe, and when they remain unaddressed, they can build to cataclysmic proportions and can end up ruining lives. The good news is, whatever expression the impact shows up in, be it a mental, emotional, or physical expression, it can be addressed, soothed, and ultimately healed with EMT. This slide represents the push and pull of magnets and can be used to help your kids understand that our emotions create the same phenomenal responses in our lives that magnets do. Just like magnets, our emotions either draw us to the things that we want or they push them away. When a magnet comes into close proximity with certain metals, it draws that metal object toward itself. This happens when there is a positive and negative magnetic polarity in play. When two similar polarities, either both positive or both negative, are in play, the magnets create such a powerful energy field that it pushes the magnets away from one another. No matter how hard you try, you cannot force the magnets to touch one another when this happens. 
Likewise, our positive emotions draw things to us, and our negative emotions drive things away from us, even the things that we really, really want. Things like the basic needs all humans desire and require. Love, security, community, acceptance, and the ability to express openly and freely how we feel about whatever is going on in our lives. Here's a simple way to explain to kids another aspect of the impact of positive and negative beliefs and emotions. When our hearts are open, even a little bit, we become energetically aligned to start drawing the things we want towards us. Another way to explain it to them is to say that we become attracting human magnets when our hearts are open. And when our hearts are open, we draw positive things into our lives. And when that happens, we are happier and healthier. And on the opposite end of things, when our heart is closed, we repel or push away the things that we really want. It's important to take time now to explain to your kids that when someone says they don't want to be liked or loved or cared for, fill in the blank, they are not really being honest with themselves. What they are more than likely doing in that moment is putting up a wall of protection to keep from getting hurt further. And it never produces a positive outcome when we take this position. Now it's time to explain further that when we approach life from this perspective, we become repelling human energy magnets that are just like magnets with matching polarities. We begin to push things away from us with an incredible energetic force field. How many of you recognize Wooly Willy here? Those of us who were kids from 1950 through 1980 probably played with Wooly Willy during his heyday. I know I did. Old Willie here has endured the test of time and is still around and can easily be purchased online. You can find him on Amazon.com for less than $5. I'm showing him to you because I recommend that you purchase Wooly Willie to demonstrate magnetic reactions to your kids. Willie demonstrates both the attraction response of magnets as well as how things repel when you use the opposite end of the magnet. I loved playing with him when I was little and watching the metal shavings rapidly moving away from the magnet when I used the repelling end of that magnet. I bet your kids will find it fascinating too. The beauty of Wooly Willy is he visually demonstrates quite easily the push and the pull that are created with magnetic fields. And he does it like no other example that I can think of and in an example that kids can easily understand. Now it's time to put all of the segments of this lesson into action. First, you begin by familiarizing yourself as the parent with the information provided in this lesson. Then share what you have learned with your children. Be sure to deliver the information in an age appropriate manner and try to engage your kids in this discussion as you explain and demonstrate how magnets work. Next, have your children identify something that they've been doing that has been blocking them from one of the five primary human needs. If need be, drop a few hints or give a recent example that will help them to understand when they have been doing this. And it could have been in any one of these areas, whether they were resisting being loved, pretending like they didn't need security, frustrated over the fact that they couldn't articulate what they wanted to say, an example of when maybe at school they didn't feel like they belonged or were being accepted for who they were, and the same kind of holds true with not belonging to a community, which if you're a child in foster care, you certainly could feel, especially initially, like you don't belong because you've lost your family, at least temporarily. Now it's important to reinforce to your children that whatever they have been doing to protect themselves from being hurt again 
is that this is a normal human reaction and that doing so isn't necessarily wrong, but it also isn't very helpful. And then present them with an option to make different choices. And once you're certain the kids understand the concept of how their emotions can respond, just like magnets, have them tap on a feeling or emotion that they would like to change. You can download the EMT Tapping Toolkit free of charge from our website it's listed at the bottom of the screen at www.emtforfosterfamilies.com. Please don't be fooled by the name of the website. If you're a parent and your child is expressing any kind of difficulty, you can teach them. Don't be fooled by the name. EMT for foster families. This website is for all parents. Adoptive parents, foster parents, and biological parents. The things I teach from month to month help your children regardless of what family category they happen to be living within at the moment. So do keep that in mind. And when you go to the website and you download the toolkit, you will have absolutely everything that you need that will teach you and your kids how to conduct a tapping session all inside the toolkit with graphs, examples, and all kinds of tips and help. And lastly, it's really time to remind your kids and teach your kids, if they're just now being introduced to tapping or EMT, that they really do hold the key to change and it's hidden in their fingertips. And the key to what I call feeling healing is energy meridian tapping. All your kids have to do to unlock their pain, sadness, anger, hurt, resentment, frustration, grief, fill in the blank, is to remember to unleash the healing potential of energy meridian tapping by remembering to tap their troubles away with EMT. Tapping is super simple to do it's done very, very quickly. And the more you use it, the better you feel. It's just that simple. And that's a wrap for this month. You can go to my website, go to the video section of emtforfosterfamilies.com and see all of the previous monthly video trainings that we put forth for you on a variety of topics and circumstances that your kids may be dealing with that is causing them to be unhappy, sad, acting out, just about anything. We try to cover it all. And we certainly would appreciate input from you if you have suggestions on a topic that we could cover in the future. I would love having suggestions from parents. So I know that I'm creating videos that are actually gonna help you with a problem that you're facing with your child or your child is facing. So uh, go to the contact page and fire off an email to me and let me know a topic that you would like to have discussed. Please tell other parents that you know about us, our website, our monthly videos, and direct them to the emtforfosterfamilies.com website for all the help and assistance we have offered here free of charge to everybody. All that we ask is that you do enter your first name and a valid email so we can stay in touch with you and let you know when the new monthly video has been released. I will not, and I promise you, overload your email with a bazillion weekly, daily, whatever emails. That's not what I'm doing here. My, my whole purpose is for this website and as an EMT tapping professional and a master healer is to help families help their kids make their lives easier and happier by using this tapping technique that I just love called EMT. Thanks for joining in this month and I hope to see you again soon. And remember, tap your way to a wonderful day with EMT. I'm Janice Gibson, the EMT Empress. I hope to talk to you again soon. Bye now.